good, everybody. Burn it. Hey. Today, I'm about to do another Bill Burr video, man. This one right here is titled, How You Know the N-Word Is Coming. Yes. How you know somebody is about to say the N-Word. No. Before I hop into it, make sure y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. I'm sure that was the ugliest face in the world. Somebody please screenshot that for me and DM me that on Instagram. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm ready up to the video, though. Let's go. Why am I so goofy right now, bro? I'm hella goofy. It's nice to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. Jeez. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me, he's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the <laughs> N-word is coming. And it's coming hard. No. Oh yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A, it's going to be with the R. And he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. Nigger. It was like a dismount, clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. Bro. Just out of nowhere. So now immediately I'm looking <laughs> over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me i hate when people do stuff like that that dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that i had nothing to do with I mean, that's real. you don't do shit like that he just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap like, eh? <laughs> trying to pass it down to the next white dude when people do that man you know it's like dude feel me out first ask some questions do you like to fish have you ever fucked your sister right i start rattling off answers then you go old school you give me a pamphlet you tell me about your militia don't just dive into it that dude was one of the angriest people i ever met i should have known that word was coming because he was just watching terrell right Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up, you just shut up and point at the guy! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? <laughs> like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? I remember that brawl. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a bit. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> My professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? How many times you go into a we game, do, right? We do. You got a little too drunk. You started we screaming do. at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp? Exactly, like, right? Awesome. You get in the game, you're all drunk. You're like, you suck, buddy. You're a piece of shit. And they're always calling That'd be y'all with us, here. bro. With YouTubers, bro. Y'all be here. talking shit. But in real life, you mean, hey, what's good? That's y'all, bro. They did, and they kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like... <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow, it's coming right at me. It must be in 3D or something. <laughs> Six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot ten inch black dude running right at him. 
That had to have been in his top three nightmares all the time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on right, fire. Right. And he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have. He's <laughs> an idiot. Bill Burr is hilarious, bro. I'm glad y'all put me on to the homie. This dude is h hilarious, bro. But I'm telling you, that's y'all, man. That's y'all with us, with YouTubers. Y'all be the ones that be trolling. But then y'all cool with us in real life. It's funny, I know that because I ran into a subscriber like not too long ago, right? And he told me his name. And he was like, I'm gonna hit you up on Instagram so you can follow me back. Woo woo woo, right? So he hit me up on Instagram. He DM'd me on Instagram. I was checking my DMs. I went to it. And he was previously DMing me. Talking bullshit. I'm like, bruh, how this nigga gonna talk bullshit, meet me in real life, and be like, oh, what up, B? I messaged you heavy. Woo, 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 woo. Like, we chopped it up for like three, four minutes. That's why he thought I was gonna follow him back. But once I seen he was trolling me for a minute, I'm like, man, I ain't following this nigga. <laughs> like, that's just crazy to me. I don't understand it, but hey, that's how people are. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.